Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number today on the bright side, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, or even better, if you want to sign up and join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business, have all, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Call 866-735-2470 to order products or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. You can also order products or sign up from our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're an entrepreneur, you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you want to work out of your home, make your own hours, right off your home office, right off your mileage, help change the world at the most fundamental level, which is the level of health and wellness by using and selling and promoting longevity nutritional supplements, which really promote and sell themselves, as anybody who knows who's, who's used the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or the, got on the Healthy Start Pack. This is a business that changes lives. It changes the lives of people who are in the business, and it changes the lives of customers and clients. It's just a powerful way to earn a living and a powerful way to help really affect powerful change, real change, in people's lives. When people get off their drugs, people lose weight. People just feel better when they start using the Healthy Start Pack and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Fucoid Z and the Osteo FX and the Nightly Essence and all the other incredibly well-formulated Longevity products, call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we're talking about the skin. The skin looks, looks are deceiving when it comes to the skin because it doesn't look like much is there. But if you zoom in with your x-ray vision, you're going to find what you find in any other organ of the body, cells, cells and stuff. The body's made up of cells and stuff. When we're sick, it's a cell issue. The cells make the stuff. Interestingly, the stuff feeds the cells. The cells make the stuff, and then the stuff turns around and feeds and oxygenates and detoxifies the cells. It's a big circle. But it all begins at the level of the cell. All diseases, cell disease. This includes psoriasis and acne and and even dry skin, which isn't really a disease, but a type of pathology. Human skin should not be dry. Human skin should not be sensitive either, for that matter. I, I can't tell you how many folks I talk to say they have sensitive skin. Well, of course we have sensitive skin because it's how we're eating. And it's how we're de- nutritionally deprived. Skin sensitivity, like skin dryness, like any skin health issue, starts off at the level of the cell, and it's, uh, it is the result of cellular starvation, suffocation, and toxification, and that includes our dry skin. And if all disease, all disease including skin disease, is cell disease, all cell disease starts at the level of the membrane, the, the coating on the outside of the cell. 
I've been talking about the membrane for years now, the, the importance of the membrane. Now it's becoming almost, almost mainstream to understand the relevance and the importance of the cell, main, uh, cell membrane. I say almost mainstream. It's not quite mainstream yet. It's still a little bit on the, on the fringes of conventional and orthodox science and techno uh, uh, help technology. But common sense tells you that this, the, the, it is the membrane that is protecting the inside of the cell. If you understand a little biology, you know that the membrane is communicating to the inside of the cell. This is where epigenetics comes in. Genetics is the idea that the genes, which are in the middle of the cell, control the cell. Epigenetics is the idea that the membrane controls the activity of the genes, which then controls the cell. Epigenetics is membrane genetics or, or membrane-associated genetics. It's the membrane that controls the genetics. That's epigenetics. The membrane is the interface between the inside and the outside. The membrane uh, of the body is the skin. And there's a lot of similarities between the cell membrane and the body membrane. The cell membrane and the skin, our skin. They're both intelligent. We did not know this until very recently, that the skin is intelligent. It's been called, or it is now being called, the third brain. It has, has brain chemicals in it. It has stress chemicals in it. It communicates uh, uh, sensations that get interpreted via the emotional center of our brain. So the skin, uh, the skin, our skin, our body membrane is intelligent. The membrane on a cell is intelligent. The membrane on a cell, it has to know and recognize what's on the outside and then respond accordingly. It's responsive, like, the, like our skin. It's intelligent and it's responsive. And most importantly, the cell membrane, like our body membrane, our skin, is protective. It's a protective, uh, it's a protective organ or protective structure, I should say. Many of the responses that on our skin that we find so unattractive, zits, pimples, rashes, rosacea, dermatitis, many of the, the responses on the skin, psoriasis, pigmentation, these are really protective responses. The skin is the quintessential protective structure. Oh, by the way, you have a skin inside your body, too. That's called your digestive tract. And just like there's a lot of relationships, there's a lot of connections, there's a, a major relationship, I should say, between the skin on our body, the membrane of our body, and the skin of a cell, the membrane of a cell, there's also a relationship between the skin and the digestive system. And Digestive health challenges and skin health challenges go hand in hand. They're very similar structures. The skin on the outside, the membrane on the outside, is a barrier. It's a protective device. It's a protective structure. And the skin on the inside of the body, the digestive tract skin, which is in the tube, that's also protective. Those are your two main centers of immunity. Your two main centers of protection are the skin and the digestive tract. So many of the the responses that we, that we find so unpleasant and unattractive on our skin, acne and rashes, etc., those are protective. And many of those are related to the skin on the inside of the body, the digestive system. I'm always, always, always telling folks when, when, uh, when I'm doing a consultation or just talking to people about their skin, if they have a skin problem, go back to the gut. Go back to the intestine. Go back to digestion. Go back to food. Always. And the way you can prove this is true is by fasting and seeing what happens to your skin when you fast, and then eating again and seeing what happens to your skin when you eat again. So anyway, cell membrane is protective. The skin is protective. The cell membrane is also permeable. It's not just protective. Stuff has to come in through the cell or through the membrane to get into the cell. It has to have, has to have a way of letting the right stuff in and the bad stuff out. And it does this with this amazing recognition system. It actually recognizes things. It recognizes friend and foe. It will open up when there's friend and it will close when there's foe, when there's enemies. It's semi-permeable. It lets things in, certain things in, doesn't let things out. And by the way, many of those things come in through channels, through little pores, including water. Water comes into the cell through little pores. Water is really important for the inside of a cell. Not necessarily because of moisturization, like we think of when we think of water, but because of chemistry. The chemistry of a cell has to requires just the right amount of hydration. And without that hydration, the chemistry of the cell doesn't work, and that's where you go into cell disease. That's where cells get messed up. 
All right, 844, by the way, fulvic acid, one of fulvic acid's main properties is to facilitate the movement of water into cells. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Farmer Spen. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you if you have questions about uh, health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you've got questions about supplements, nutritional supplements, ingredients, or true skin health products, a common or success story you'd like to share, 844 236 6010 is our number on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we're on the air Monday through Friday on the bright side, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. We've got news stories, blog posts on brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and all the longevity products as well, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. So it's all about the cell. It's all about the membrane. The membrane is a uh, responsive, intelligent structure. It communicates to the inside what's happening on the outside. That's the science of epigenetics. The inside, the, the outside world, it gets interpreted by the membrane. That message gets transmitted to the inner, inside part of the cell as well as into the nucleus and the genetics. And that's where health comes. That's the bottom line right there, folks. That's it. That's health in a nutshell. The cell, the cell membrane, what's going in, what's going out. So that makes that membrane really, really, really important. The membrane is thousands of times, maybe 1,000 to 2,000, 3,000 times thinner than a human hair. It is incredibly, incredibly thin, slender, tiny, mostly made up of fats and proteins, 50-50 fats and proteins. The fats give it a certain structure. The fats give it magnetism. The fats in the membrane have to be in just the right proportion, and there's all kinds of different fats mostly fatty acids and also lecithin and also cholesterol. And all of these have to be in just the perfect balance, just the perfect proportion, just the perfect ratio. The liquid fats or the, the um, uh, some of the fats are liquidy and some of the fats are stiff and the combination of liquidy and stiff just gives it just the right amount of flow. It has to have just the right balance, has the right proportion of solidity to fluidity. It has to be fluid but not too fluid, it has to be solid but it has to still flow. And most of these fats, the cholesterol and the, and the lecithin and the fatty acids, most of these fats can be made in the body, but there's two that can't. There's two critical fats for this cell membrane to work efficiently that cannot be made by the body. That means you have to eat them. That's what, essential, that's what an essential nutrient is. An essential nutrient is one you have to eat because your body can't make it, but you have to have it. Vitamins are essential. Minerals are essential. And these two very special fats are essential. We call them essential fats. We call them essential fatty acids. And they are essential for the manufacturing or the production of cell membranes. Without them, you cannot make cell membranes. I shouldn't say that. You cannot make healthy cell membranes. You could still make cell membranes. And that's important to, to recognize. Your body will make do with whatever kind of fat it has. You don't, uh, if you don't get essential fatty acids from your diet or from supplementing, your body will try to structure the membranes with whatever it has, and that, you'll end up with defective cells. So an essential nutrient, of whether it's a vitamin or mineral or fat, is one you have to have. You can't be allergic, by the way, to an essential nutrient. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people tell me they're allergic to vitamin C or they're allergic to other, some other vitamin. You can't be allergic to a vitamin, period. Period. End of story. You can't be allergic to iodine. You can't be allergic to vitamin. It just, it's essential. You'd be dead if you were allergic to that, which is what doesn't happen. But an essential nutrient is one that must come in through the diet or else you're in big trouble. And two of the, and two of the essential nutrients are fats. They're called EFAs. We know them as omega-3s and omega-6. Omega-3s and omega-6 are essential for the production of cell memories, among other things in the body. They're essential for the production of cell membranes. And guess what? Most of us don't get anywhere near enough of them. 
either the omega-3s and the omega-6s. Omega-3s are particularly important for nerve cell membranes and eye cell membranes and brain cell membranes, particularly two special kinds of omega-3s called DHA and EPA, which you probably heard of. DHA and EPA are found in almost all reputable EFA combination supplements. They're fish. They're mostly a fish or seafood uh, fatty acid. They're not EFAs themselves, by the way, DHA and EPA. Your body can make DHA and EPA if it has enough omega-3. So it has enough uh, parent omega-3, I should say. But it's still not a bad idea to throw in a little DHA and EPA, in my humble opinion. DHA and EPA being so important for the nerve cell membrane. Moms who supplement with DHA and EPA while they're pregnant have smarter babies, have babies who are better, have better hand-eye coordination, have babies with better vision. Because they're getting, they, while they were developing, while they were gestating in the womb, the mom had uh, in her blood lots of, if, if her mom had in her blood lots of DHA and EPA, baby will get lots of DHA and EPA, and DHA and EPA, they're found in fish and seafood, as I say, are, uh, are go, to, go to make the membrane of eye cells and brain cells and nerve cells. So you need both omega-6s, you need both omega-6s and omega-3s. It's probably a good idea to supplement with DHA and EPA, even though uh, your body can make it. It sure doesn't hurt to use fish oil and uh, cod liver oil. You probably, it's a good idea to go for cod liver oil if you have a choice. You never know what kind of fish they're using. You, you always want, the, uh, the smaller fish are always better than the bigger fish because the smaller fish don't have as much toxins in them. By the way, algae is a great source of DHA and EPA. Algae is a true, true power food. Algae and, and spirulina and uh, chlorella, that kind of, those kinds of things. Um, lots of DHA and EPA. Oysters are also a good source of DHA and EPA. Oysters are a real power food, like algae. I don't know why oysters, uh, oysters don't get the, the, the press they deserve as a, a power food. Wonderful sources of DHA and EPA, also good protein. Eggs are also a good source of, uh, I don't know if DHA and EPA, but they have some omega-3s in there. Actually, I take that back. Now they have the new eggs have omega-3s in them, the ones where they feed the eggs uh, seeds, flax seeds. Seed, uh, flax seeds are, are the, pretty much the standard source of omega-3s, of, of veggie omega-3s, is flax seeds. And now they're giving chickens flax seeds, and the eggs have omega-3s in them. So anyway, it's the fats that give the, uh, the cell a certain amount of structure, a certain amount of fluidity. Omega-3s and omega-6s are important for fluidizing the cell. you got to get them in foods. you got to get them in supplements on a regular basis. All diseases sell disease without omega-3s and omega-6s. You can't make cells. And because all diseases sell disease, every single system in the body will benefit from supplementing with omega-3s and omega-6s. And every single system in the body will suffer if you don't have omega-6s and omega-3s. Every cell in the body, that means every tissue in the body, that means every organ and structure in the body is going to operate at less than peak efficiency if you don't have enough omega-6s and omega-3s. And guess what? Almost nobody has enough omega-6s and omega-3s unless they're supplementing because when you cook your food, you destroy them. And most of us are cooking our foods, cooking our fats. That's why, by the way, you need omega-6s as well as omega-3s. Some nutritionists will tell you, oh, don't worry about omega-6s. Wrong. You do have to worry about omega-6s because we cook our oils that, that are supposed to have the omega-6s in them. Okay, time to take a break. Got lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll return right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have uh, no calls for now, so we got lots of uh, lots of time to talk to you if you call now, 844-236-6010, and you'll probably get on board real quickly at 844-236-6010. I am pharmacist Ben, and uh, we're talking about skin cell membranes and skin cells, and we'll continue talking about how you can assure that you have healthy membranes so that you can have healthy cells and nutritional supplements that you can use in addition to omega-3s and omega-6s. Vitamin E is also incredibly important, even though it's not part of the cell membrane itself. It kind of hovers around the cell membrane and acts to protect cell membranes. 
And this is why vitamin E has such a reputation as being a protective or antioxidant, uh, being protective and of antioxidant importance because it protects the cell membrane from oxidation. The cell membrane, like any fat, is very uh, prone towards going rancid, towards oxidation. And vitamin E plays a major role in preventing that from happening. So does vitamin C, for that matter. And vitamin C and vitamin E work together to help protect the cell membrane. Thus, the importance of supplementing with vitamin C and vitamin E, as well as essential fatty acids. Thus, the importance of supplementing, period. You're not going to get enough. There's not enough vitamin E in foods for you to get what you need for maximum protection. There's not enough omegas in foods to get what you need for maximum cell membrane production. And there's probably not enough vitamin C in foods to act as a, uh, to, to provide you with all the benefits of vitamin C. There's just not enough nutrients in foods. And this is why nutritional supplementation, as much as, as troubling as it can be, and there are a lot of troubling aspects to nutritional supplementation. Every once in a while, you'll hear a healthcare professional or, or, or a, a, a foodie type person say, you know what, you shouldn't supplement, get everything you need from foods, blah, blah, blah. And that, you know, their point is well taken. It would be great if we could get everything out of foods. It would be great if the minerals were in the soil. It would be great if we weren't using pesticides and fertilizers. We didn't live in a toxic environment. We didn't cook our foods and process our foods and, and, and have to deal with shelf life in stores. It would be great if we lived back in the Garden of Eden when we had everything we needed, when we could pick a fruit or a, or a vegetable and have everything we needed. But those days are long gone. That isn't going to happen. And that's why supplementation is just, you just got to do it. There's no way to get around it. You've got to get on a good nutritional supplement program, particularly if you're sick, particularly if you are overweight, particularly if you don't want to be sick and you don't want to be overweight, particularly if you're aging, and particularly if you're recovering from surgery. Speaking of nutritional supplementation from the University of Colorado at Boulder, my uh, alma mater, Dietary supplement shows promise for reversing cardiovascular aging. Scientists have long known that restricting calories can fend off physiological signs of aging with studies in fruit flies, roundworms, rodents, and even people showing that chronically slashing intake, that is of calories, by about a third can reap myriad health benefits and in some cases extend lifespan. I've been saying this for decades. I first read the research on calorie restriction in the 1980s. And I knew from uh, working in the, being in the gym and being a bodybuilder that you had to take period, you had to intermittently fast, or if you did intermittently fast, you could get stronger. Reducing insulin, reducing sugar, reducing the m amount of nutrients that are expended on digestion is an amazingly important and powerful and inexpensive strategy for improving health. Now a new... University of Colorado Boulder study shows that when people consume a natural supplement that mimics caloric restriction, that mimics fasting, they also get benefits. Kickstarting, quote, kickstarting the same key chemical pathways responsible for health benefits, unquote. Supplementation also tends to improve blood pressure, arterial health, particular, in, particularly in those with mild hypertension. What is this supplement you th you're asking yourself? It's called NR nicotinamide riboside, it's NR, which is a form of niacin, form of vitamin B3, which is so unbelievably important as a vitamin or as a nutrient or as an essential nutrient that your brain, your body will actually make its own niacin under conditions of deficiency. It's the only vitamin that the body will actually synthesize on its own when we're deficient. Vitamin D is made in the skin, of course, but... Uh, uh, the vitamin uh, niacin is typically not made in the body unless the body is deficient. That's how important niacin is. Niacin plays a major role in the energetics of a cell. We talked about the energetics of the cell a couple years ago. It's very fascinating how a cell makes energy. Ultimately, that's what it all comes down to. When we talk about all diseases, cell disease, the membrane, and all the things a cell does, blah, 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 we're really talking about is energy. When a cell has energy, enough energy, and the energy is channeled correctly, it can do its business. When it doesn't have energy, it dies. Simple as that. So anything you do to facilitate energizing a cell is going to help, is going to improve health, and niacin is unbelievably important. So are, all the B vitamins are, really, for energizing the cell. That's why your B vitamins are your energy vitamins. That's why B vitamins are used by 
by fast moving cells, cells that are super active, like the cells of the nervous system. And that's why B vitamin deficiency can cause problems with your brain. And I have to wonder sometimes how many people are in nursing homes diagnosed with dementia and all they really need is some B vitamins. B vitamins being important for the nervous system, the brain, also the skin depends on your B complex and B vitamins. Niacin deficiency disease is called pellagra and it largely or in many, in many cases shows up as a skin disease. Skin rashes, unexplained skin rashes could easily be caused by niacin deficiency. Unexplained digestive system problems. Remember the digestive system is the skin inside out. So unexplained digestive system problems can also be caused by niacin deficiency. Niacin is involved in digestive health and skin health, and it's also involved in mental health. In fact, the disease caused by niacin deficiency is called pellagra. And when you go to medical school, doctors are taught that the four Ds of pellagra, that is the four symptoms of pellagra, four symptoms of niacin deficiency disease are diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and death. Diarrhea, stomach problems, GI problems, intestinal problems, dementia, mental health problems, and uh, dermatitis, rashes, skin rashes. If you're dealing with any of those, these issues, you know somebody who's dealing with any of these issues, you know somebody in a nursing home who's not supplementing with niacin, get them on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's loaded with the B-complex. That's one of the reasons why people get such immediate benefits from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is it's loaded with the B vitamins. First thing in the morning, we tend to be deficient in our B vitamins. First thing in the morning, for most of us, we haven't ingested anything for six or seven or eight hours. We tend to be deficient in the B vitamins, especially if you've gone to the bathroom once or twice because the B vitamins are excreted out in your urine and it could very well be the brain fog when you wake up in the morning, not feeling at the top of your game when you wake up in the morning. Being groggy when you wake up in the morning could be B vitamin deficiency. Have a little glass of Beyond Tangy Tangerine sitting by your bed, uh, by your on your night table, it's just ready to go uh, when you're um, well, when you wake up in the morning. Probably it's not a, probably don't want to let this stuff sit overnight. So just have some powder in a cup, in a glass, and then have a little bottle of water next to it, and just pour the bottle of water into the into your BTT, make it fresh, start sipping on it first thing in the morning. Watch how much energy you have. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we got lines open for you. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll return right after this. Side pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got one more story here I want to read to you, and then we'll get your calls. 844-236-6010. So hang on there if you're on hold, and we do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. From the Journal of Experimental Medicine, researchers discover key driver of atopic dermatitis. That's also known as eczema. Severe eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that is driven by an allergic reaction. Let me say that again, you guys. Severe eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that is driven by an allergic reaction. That is so important. How many people are going to the dermatologist for their eczema and all they get is a steroid cream? Or how many people are just living with their eczema? It's a response. Eczema is a response. It, it's predisposed or we're predisposed to eczema by nutritional deficiencies, especially in the B vitamins and also in essential fatty acids and vitamin A. But the condition itself is driven by an allergic reaction, an immune reaction, excuse me. <clears throat> in their latest study, researchers at La Jolla Institute reveal an important player that promotes skin inflammation and atopic dermatitis and the characteristic thickening of the skin. Their work published in uh, the January 16th, 2018 online edition of Journal of Experimental Medicine demonstrates that tumor necrosis factor directly controls hyperproliferation of, of skin cells as well as the expression of proteins that are features of eczema. So what does this all mean? It means that when we have eczema, we're bo our body's response responding to something that's getting in the blood. 
How do things get into the blood? Well, you can inject them, but if you're not injecting them, that only leaves one real way that things get into the blood. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's through food. Eczema needs to be regarded as a food issue, as a digestive system issue. Now, it's true that fish oil, cod liver oil especially, and also, uh, and also omega-6 fatty acids as well as zinc and vitamin A play a major role, and you should definitely be supplementing with those, those nutrients if you, are, uh, if you suffer from eczema. But until you take care of the immune system and the allergic response and what's getting into the blood inappropriately, it is unlikely that your rashes will go away, at least not permanently. On the other hand, eczema can kind of be regarded as a window to what's happening inside the body. That's one of the neatest things about our skin health challenges. When you have a skin health challenge, that can be interpreted as a, a portal to the inside of the body. You can actually use the skin to interpret biochemistry if you speak skin. And a good dermatologist should, a, should be able to speak skin. A good esthetician should be able to speak skin. We all need to be able to speak skin, or at least to understand skin. Not to speak skin, to understand skin, skin talk. If we're dealing with health challenges, I'm in the skin business where I formulate skincare products and I cannot tell you how many times I've had to explain to people that their skin issues are not going to be resolved simply by rubbing something on top. That's not the purpose of topical skincare. The purpose of topical skincare is to supplement internal skincare, internal nutrition. Topical skincare supplements and supports what we're doing inside. People who sell us skincare products aren't going to tell us that because they need us to buy their skincare products. If you're dealing with a skin health issue like eczema, focus on the gut, especially on good bacteria, especially using probiotics and especially fiber and other nutrients that help support a healthy gut microbiome. 844-236-6010 is our number. My good friend, oops, I just hung up on you, Dorian. I'm sorry. Dorian, call back because you're the only guy who's going to be on. Uh, you're, you're my only call, so you'll get uh, the royal treatment here, Dorian, if you call back. I apologize for hanging up on you. Dorian's been holding on for a while, and I just hit the wrong button. So anyway, got a couple more here. If we don't have any calls, got a couple more stories to talk about. Neuroscientists say daily ibuprofen can prevent Alzheimer's disease. A, Van a Vancouver research team led by Canada's most cited neuroscientist, Dr. Patrick McGear, has successfully carried out studies suggesting that if started early enough, a daily regimen of Motrin, of ibuprofen, can prevent the onset of Alzheimer's disease. That means that by taking an over-the-counter medication, people can ward off a disease that, according to the Alzheimer's D Disease International, International World Alzheimer's Report, affects an estimated 47 million people worldwide and costs healthcare systems $818 billion dollars, almost a trillion dollars a year is spent on dealing with Alzheimer's dementia and is a leading cause of death in those age 65 or older. Now, I got to tell you here, even healthcare professionals mistake Alzheimer's disease for dementia. Alzheimer's disease is early onset dementia. Dementia that occurs with age, dementia that occurs with uh, aging is just general deterioration of the brain. So-called Alzheimer's disease is early onset dementia when it occurs in the 40s and 50s. Nonetheless, the point is well taken that it's an inflammatory condition, which is why when you take ibuprofen, you can supposedly prevent disease. Well, how they don't tell you is that ibuprofen has toxicity and side effects. And what we really want to be doing is figuring out why the heck we're inflaming. Inflammation being always a protective response. The question is, is how can we support the protective response? How can we support the body's immune system? And what can we do to eliminate the cause of the protective response. Alzheimer's disease is arthritis of the brain. I've said this for years. Alzheimer's disease is arthritis of the brain. Now they're giving you arthritis medicine for Alzheimer's disease. Hello? <laughs> what, this is what I've been saying. It's all the same darn thing. It's inflammation, it's protection, it's cell death. It's, it doesn't matter what part of the body our breakdowns are occurring in. If it's in the brain, you call it Alzheimer's. If it's in the joints, you call it arthritis. If it's in the nerves, you call it multiple sclerosis. If it's in the pancreas, you call it diabetes. It's just, this is craziness, folks. Our health, taking care of our health should be so simple once we can break this thing down to its basic building blocks and awaken from the pharmacomedical trance that we've been in since the days of ancient Sumeria. That's when the pharmacomedical model was developed, was invented, was in Sumeria, which... Which it may have been high tech for, for 
5,000 BC or 6,000 BC, but it certainly isn't helping us any today as we suffer through cancer and autoimmunity and neurodegenerative diseases and obesity and diabetes at epidemic rates. All right, 844-236-6010, there's Dorian. Good morning, Dorian. Sorry about that, buddy. Hi, Ben. How is everything today? It's going good. Just me and you here, Dorian. What's going on? Okay, question for my dad here. Um, What would you do about hair thinning? Hair thinning? Yeah. Uh, You know, that's a sign that he's a real man. (laughs) I'm serious. That's a sign of testosterone. He's got some good testosterone going. Uh, one of the one of the uh, quick uh, one of the most effective strategies for dealing with thinning hair is to get yourself on liquid silica gel. Liquid silica gel is a precipitate silica, I should say, and it comes in the form of liquid silica gel. is a precipitating agent around which tissue precipitates. And what you'll find when you uh, when you uh, get on start supplementing with liquid silica gel, not only do you start stop losing your hair, it takes about a it takes about a month, four to eight weeks for it to kick in. You'll find, and you have to do a high enough dose, like a couple tablespoons, and it is a little bit pricey. Um, you'll find not only do you start stop losing your hair, your hair doesn't fall out as readily, but your fingernails and your toenails grow much more dramatically faster. So if you have problems with thin, uh, thinning hair, or you have problems with your nails, or also presumably, because it's working for nails and it's working for hair, it's also going to probably work for, uh, for a bone, for folks who have osteoporosis issues, all connective tissue issues, and for wrinkles as well. So I love liquid silica gel, and I, do, I actually do it every day, although I make my own liquid silica gel. Um, but you can buy liquid silica gel uh, from a company called Abkit, A-B-K-I-T. And I highly recommend it for folks who are going into surgery, pre- and post-surgery, but also has some benefits for your hair. Dorian, I want to get one more call in, all right, buddy? Okay, thanks. Thank you so Thank much. You. Take care, man. All right, all right let's go to uh, Bob in Minnesota. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? Hey, very good, Ben. Quick question. Yes, sir. Fish oil. Fish yes, oil. Sir. I hear and I, if, that if you uh, freeze or put fish oil in the freezer, if it uh, freezes even partially, that signifies uh, impurities in the fish oil. Uh, that, makes know, that makes oh, sense. That makes sense. Okay, so I, I so, hadn't thought of that, but that, that makes sense because oil wouldn't freeze. So if something's freezing so, in there, it's not oil. Okay, so then. A person should really uh, use that as a, a test to keep their fish, not I mean, necessarily. Pure fish oil? Well, not necessarily because you could have contaminants in there that, that still freeze. So just because it doesn't freeze, do, you know, it doesn't mean you're out of the woods. Now, if it does freeze, that means you've got some stuff in there you don't necessarily want. Uh, but if it doesn't freeze, that doesn't mean that you're completely out of the woods. Fish oil is tricky because the oceans are so toxic. So it's just a tricky thing to do. That's what I was saying about supplementing, how, how tricky it is. It's just hard to supplement correctly because of what we've done to the environment. Nonetheless, there are a lot of people chelation. who get tremendous. Chelation is great. Chelation therapy. And there's a lot of folks who get benefits from fish oil. Got to go. Thank okay. you for your call, Bob. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and truthtreatments.com for our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and now our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Priming Mist made with fulvic minerals, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. That's it for now. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Listen to 